Having found out how his great-grandfather, Frederick Everett, ended his days, Rupert has received some fresh information. Chris Ware from the National Maritime Museum has uncovered Hello. a surprising new lead. Hello. Who's that? Chris Ware here. Oh, Chris, how are you? Oh, very well. I found some um, more information that might help you with your research. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you very much. Somebody I think you should meet. Somebody I should meet? Yes. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Chris has been doing more research and has found someone who claims to be related to Frederick Everett. Rupert has arranged to meet her. Hello, I'm Rupert. How are you? Oh, who are you? I'm your great aunt. You're my great aunt? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Great aunt who? Marguerite. Marguerite? Yes. Well, how are you, my great aunt? Well, my husband yes. is your great uncle. Really? And he was the son of Frederick. William, William Cunningham, Cunningham Everett. Everett. Really? Yes. yes. Oh, my God, another one. Yes. Because he had another son called Cyril. Cyril, he had another, yes. Now I've got a surprise yeah. for you. Oh, what? I've got that to show you. My God, how fascinating. Hang on. This is the marriage of Frederick, ah, Frederick William Cunningham Everett. Yes. To Margaret Taylor. Yes, my mother-in-law. Mm. Rupert has discovered that before his great-grandfather Frederick Everett met Rosemary Bawtree, he was married three times. First to Rupert's great-grandmother, Georgina Teague. Then to Florence Cornell in Hong Kong. And finally to Margaret Taylor. Frederick and Margaret had a son, Francis, who died in 2003. Aunt Marguerite is Francis's widow making her Rupert's great-aunt by marriage. There's a big age gap between Margaret mm. and Freddie. Oh, how extraordinary. She was 30 and he was 66. He was a bit of a devil, wasn't he? Yes, he was a bit of a devil. What I'm trying to find out about is Frederick's family, yeah. what kind of background he came well, from, because... he came from, so I was told, mm. he was an aristocracy. Mm. How weird. Why did he go to sea then as a sailor? Well, I think he ran away. He ran away? Yes, he, he, he wanted to go to sea. Mm. And I wonder why he didn't get along with his family. What happened between them that he rebelled so much against them? Do you not think perhaps he didn't want to belong to them? He was more... Free spirit. He was more, uh, not ambitious, he was more... Um, Adventurer? Yes, that's the word. A kind of adventure. That's adventurer. That's what I would... He right. was, he was. What did your mother-in-law, uh, what was her impressions of Freddie? What, what kind of man do you think he was, did she think he was? I don't think she thought a lot about him mm. because he was, well, you know, he was a philanderer and uh, that was it. Mm. Yeah, no, he caused, he, he seemed to cause a lot of pleasure and a lot of pain. He did. Mm. Oh, he did cause a lot of pain. Mm. Oh, yes. But at least he lived. Well, that's how he lived his life. Mm. He was a rebel, and good luck to him. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. I like naughty boys. I like naughty boys too. <laughs> <laughs> we got something in common. Hey, you're not playing for the other side, are you? Well, maybe. <laughs> now I'm learning things yes, now. I, well, you know, that's life. That's terrible. <laughs> I know. But your family tradition. I know, but... Naughty, yeah. but naughty, nice. Naughty, but nice. That's what I am. You are naughty, but I like, I like you. you. <laughs> This Who Do You Think You Are is fast deteriorating into an Ealing comedy, as far as I can see. And um, I've now uh, got a new auntie, Great Aunt Marguerite, who's a tr amazing character. And um, it's just unbelievable. She's shed a great deal of light on things. I think Frederick came from um, an upper middle class background, rather similar to mine, and he was extremely rebellious because to have stamped himself with um, sailor's tattoos was like uh, taking on a role, so he was an actor in a way. But I still haven't really got to the bottom of him yet, because why did Fred, aged 18, decide to go to sea? I need to know what his family background was, where he lived, what his father was. <laughs> 